What's going on, guys? So Woody Johnson is speaking at the NFL Honors, and I haven't seen uh, clips or video yet, but the Jets beat reporters are covering it kind of quote by quote on Twitter. And the the two biggest uh, quotes that are making the rounds right now is, uh, well, number one, uh, the Woody said on a playoff mandate that he's not a mandate guy, but that they have to win a hell of a lot more than seven games. Uh, I was pretty lukewarm on the public mandate last year because – you know, just do what you're going to do behind closed doors kind of mentality, I would be in favor and just coming out and saying it. I, I would be just stamping it. We got to make the playoffs. And that's what people's jobs are on the line for. Because otherwise, what else are we doing? Truly. And the second part was when he, he was asked on, you know, what's the priority in the offseason and, and why did this season kind of fall off the rails? And he said, we need a backup quarterback. We didn't have one last year. And, Okay. So, yes, the Jets should be uh, getting a veteran backup quarterback and be willing to spend some change to get one of the, you know, top 25 percentile backup quarterbacks in the NFL. I agree with that. But I think what just kind of rubs me the wrong way with, with this and with, with Woody and the Jets brass is they always they always bring it back to quarterback, and I get it. Aaron Rodgers goes down. Your Super Bowl chances go out the window. We don't need to talk about the difference between a Hall of Fame quarterback and backup quarterbacks. I get that. But the same thing when Woody took to the podium last year, he said, you know, we have everything in place. We just need a quarterback. And it just makes me feel like they, the men in charge are very blind to the other issues on this team. Okay. And I'm not a, a Zach Wilson truther. And God, it's so you, you have to either say he's going to be the next Steve Young or say he's a CFL quarterback. I'm going to tell you he's a backup quarterback. Okay. And he was a backup quarterback this year. Next year, he'll be on a different team. He'll be a backup quarterback. The year after that, he'll be a backup quarterback. He's a backup quarterback. Now, if we, if, if these men truly think the difference between Zach Wilson and a slightly more elevated backup quarterback would have saved their season, that is problematic to me because that means they are ignorant to the issues on this team. I, I Again, oh, any quarterback in the league on earth would be better than Zach Wilson. Yeah, no, not true. There were two guys on the roster who were worse than him last year in Simeon, and in Boyle. So some of the names that I saw being thrown out there last year, if we had this guy, if we had Colt McCoy, like, no, no, I'm sorry, Colt McCoy behind Max Mitchell at guard and, and Billy Turner at right tackle throwing to Alan Lazard and, and a couple of undrafted guys with Nate Hackett cooking wouldn't have fixed your offense last year. It just wouldn't have. Aaron Rodgers, could he have pulled a rab out of a hat? Sure. So, Maybe I'm just maybe I should just look at the positive and understand that they are recognizing that backup quarterback is a need. I get that, but I I just hope that they understand that this off this offensive line needs three new starters and they need to seriously invest in a difference making playmaker uh, to complement Garrett Wilson if this team is serious about making a deep playoff run. If you look at the the teams that were left standing, the the least final four teams, man. It's a lot deeper than than the backup quarterback on offense. I hope they know that, and we'll talk all soon.